Since 2020, blockchain have been impacting some of the common things around us. Aside from finance, blockchain is now in community building and social media, arts, gaming, fitness, cloud server, domain names and domain registration, cybersecurity, freelance jobs, and many more. We have covered so many of these topics and projects on this channel, so take a moment to go through our videos right after this. However, blockchain is about to take a leap into mobile phones. A subsidiary of Solana Labs called Solana Mobile recently launched their new Web3 phone called Saga. We have discussed Solana on this channel, if you have not seen it, kindly take a look right after this. However, I would give a brief introduction about Solana before we get down into Saga. But before we continue, kindly like this video to help get it to as many people as possible. And if you have interest in tech, blockchain and Web3, then hit that subscribe button and help us grow this community. Now guys, let's get into it. What is Solana? Solana is a web-scale blockchain that provides fast, secure, scalable, decentralized apps and marketplaces. The system currently supports 50,000 transactions per second and 400 milliseconds block times. With that said, let's look into the Solana saga. Solana Mobile, a subsidiary of Solana Labs, created a Solana Mobile Stack, an open-source software toolkit for Android. Enabling native Android Web3 apps on Solana with a Seed Vault secure custody protocol that facilitates instant signing of transactions while keeping private keys partitioned from wallets, apps and the Android operating system. Now, that might sound so much technical, but I would try to break it down as much as possible. The Solana Saga, which is a mobile phone, operates with an Android OS. Most people use Android phones, so we can agree that it's just another mobile phone, but of cause with some blockchain and Web3 integration. Furthermore, the co-founder of Solana, Anatoly Yakovenko, believes that developers have been blocked for too long from creating truly decentralized mobile apps because the existing gatekeeper model just doesn't work anymore. However, the Solana mobile stack shows a new path forward on Solana that is open source, secure, optimized for Web3, and easy to use. Interestingly, the Solana mobile stack provides a new set of libraries for wallets and apps, allowing developers to create rich mobile experiences on Solana and is built to run alongside Android. The SDK provides libraries and programming interfaces for Android apps and secure key private storage, simplifying the developer experience to build and extend dApps functionality for Solana. Now, let's look into some of the features of Solana mobile stack. 1. Mobile Wallet Adapter this is a protocol for connecting web apps and native Android apps to wallets on mobile devices. The open source protocol is designed to support all mobile platforms, not just Android OS. 2. Seed Vault. This is a secure environment built into a mobile device that keeps private keys, seed phrases and secrets separated from the application layer, yet still capable of interacting with apps running on the device or in a mobile browser. 3. Solana Pay for Android. Solana Pay is a decentralized payments rail on Solana. It is built into Solana Mobile Stack, providing wallet dApps the ability to use the system features of Android devices to capture Solana Pay URLs via QR codes, NFC taps, messages, and web browser interactions to launch Solana Pay requests. In addition, instant virtual card issuance will allow users to make contactless-based mobile payments, backed by their self-custodied funds, via traditional payment rails at tens of millions of merchants across the globe. Now let's wrap this up. Solana is one of the biggest players in the blockchain space, so I know they would have gone into this looking at every possibilities. Although their first mobile phone might not be exactly what we are used to, but I am sure this is a beginning of blockchain taking over the mobile phone industry, so we should expect more versions soon. While others that are already in the blockchain hardware industry might follow suit with some smart gadgets. Furthermore, you can pre-orders with a $100 deposit, which will be taken off the final cost of $1,000. Although, developers will be prioritized, so they can test the Solana Mobile Stack and Saga. Interestingly, those who pre-order may be eligible to receive a Saga Pass, an NFT accompanying the first wave of Saga devices, and the first ticket to influencing the direction of the Solana Mobile Stack platform. Kindly note that this is not a financial advice, but for educational purpose only. Guys, let us know what you think about the Solana Saga in the comments section. And don't hesitate to tell us what you would like us to discuss on this channel.
like this video and subscribe to this channel, don't forget to turn on your notification so that you can get notified each time we post an exciting video on this channel. See you next time.